Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was going to go out and uh, cut the grass and do some weeding today, but the humidity is a killer, so I'm just going to uh, stay in and film some empties. Uh, so, keep coming back into my little retreat here, and this is uh, starting to overflow. So I thought I'd just uh, do my, um, it's kind of like bath and skincare kind of empties. So, um, I am going to start with, um, I got this at Dollarama, it was $3 for 35 cleansing wipes. So fresh, so clean, cucumber cleansing wipes, removes dirt, oil, and makeup. And these are actually, I left one, these are actually green, and they smell like cucumbers. They do a fairly good job removing, um, uh, uh, makeup and that, but um, I find it a, maybe a little bit rough um, and it doesn't take off the eye makeup uh, like the waterproof mascara or eyeliner or anything like that so I just kind of use it for my face uh, more for freshening up during the day uh, if I've been out and I'm it's uh, I'm hot and sweaty and that I'll just use one of these to just kind of freshen up in that so there's other like the Garnier wipes I like using for removing makeup better but these are just nice just for kind of uh, freshening up in that so and I'm just going to grab whatever I can here good things fresh start creamy cleanser um, grape and pomegranate uh, it's a facial cleanser it's a um, it's a cream um, my skin's dry now um, and uh, I prefer the cream cleansers, they're less drying. And uh, these ones I can find at uh, Winners or Marshalls. Um, Winners is the Canadian version of um, TJ Maxx. Uh, this is the second one. I've gone through a, a similar cream cleanser by Good Things, um, and I, li I like them both. Uh, they clean very well. Um, uh, your skin feels soft after, it doesn't feel tight and they smell very nice it's not an overwhelming kind of smell but um this was um 150 mils or five ounces for just five dollars so it's a very good price um this company is from um uh, great britain and uh, definitely i've purchased other things uh, from this company i really do like it um, uh, so you know if you see these check them out and a Bath and Body Works, uh, I think this was last summer, Coastal Surf and Sun. And this one was Sunny Coconut, Sparkling Pineapple, and Creamy Vanilla. And I really did like the labels on these last year. It's very nice. And this was a beachy, um, tropical fruit kind of smell. It's very nice. I like that one. And then... Um, this is St. Ives, oops, I just got it out of the shower so it's kind of dripping wet here. Uh, St. Ives uh, Purifying Exfoliating Body Wash. Um, sea Kelp and Mineral Salts. This is probably the third one I've gone through. I really like this for exfoliating. Um, uh, it's not a really coarse um, exfoliators or granules in there. Um, uh, they're fine, but they still do a very good job exfoliating, and it leaves your skin so soft and smooth. It doesn't leave an oily film or anything like this. Um, uh, it has just got a nice, very fresh, but subtle kind of uh, fragrance to it. Um, uh, I use it almost all the time just for exfoliating, and uh, yeah, it's definitely, actually I did just repurchase it from shoppers there. It had it on sale. Um, so yeah, I definitely repurchase. I really, really like this one. It's just a perfect exfoliator. And well, I'll pull all these out. <laughs> um, I collected quite a few of these a couple years ago. It's the Saint uh, Dr. Jacobs Castile soap, and um, they were ten dollars back then. I think they had them up to thirteen dollars. So I'm glad I kind of stocked up. Um, these ones I use mostly for shaving my legs, but um, obviously you can use them in the shower. 
Um, it says on here, uh, good for daily use as a body wash, shampoo, facial cleanser, shaving lather, a mild laundry detergent. Um, they're good for cleaning the makeup brushes um, because they don't foam up too much. Um, so they're very easy to rinse. Uh, they don't have a lot of weird ingredients. It's just basically uh, coconut oil, olive oil, sunflower seed oil, um, wild mint fragrance, citric acid. The, you know, there's not a lot of weird um, uh, ingredients in it. It's very basic. Um, yeah, these are, they're very good. Household cleaner, you can dilute one cup to six cups of water and use it as a household cleaner, a dish detergent, body, like you can do everything with these. So um, this one was 32 ounces and it was $10, but I think they're, like I said, they're up to 13. But they got very nice fragrances. This is wild mint. Oh, this one, I love the smell of this one. Almond honey. And the packaging's really nice too. And this one is uh, citrus. So yeah, I still got a few more of those Whoop, packed away somewhere. Oh, I keep having these dizzy spells today. I think I'm just dehydrated. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off the past couple days and I'm not drinking enough, I don't think. Um, oh, this one I wish they would bring back. Bath and Body Works Fresh Picked Collection. And this is uh, Garden Herbs. A hand soap. Oh, I cleaned it out so I can't smell it too much, but it was just a lovely greenery herbal scent and I really wish they would bring that one back. I just really, really like that one. And uh, this is, uh, oh, the famous Black Cherry Merlot. Um, never get tired of that one. Uh, this is a Midnight Pomegranate um, uh, Fragrance Mist. I really do like this fragrance. It's one of my first ones that I ever bought. And yeah, it's just that... <coughs> oh, gonna sneeze. Um, that Just that rich, fruity, um, very deep and rich kind of uh, scent. I really do like that one. I have a few backups of that one. Uh, sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Cream. Uh, yeah, I always get this every fall. I, I just absolutely love the smell of this one. It's not bakery, it's just that uh, kind of little bit of a sweet, spicy kind of cinnamon pumpkin scent. Uh, this is uh, Bath & Body Works Papaya Sunset Hand Soap. And this one was Papaya and Warm Jasmine. Again, I rinsed this out before I threw it in the blue box there, so... Um, but I, I did like it. It was kind of the fruity, beachy kind of uh, scent. Label's very pretty. Oh, uh, Coral Reef Antibacterial. And... Oh, this is... Um, I got this at uh, the Bay. Uh, it was just on sale for like a dollar fifty or something. I just used it for traveling. Uh, passion fruit with noni fruit, whatever noni fruit is, exfoliating shower gel. Um, it was pretty good. I uh, haven't seen it since. Uh, this is I got this at Winners. Uh, Absolute Care Genuine Dead Sea Cosmetics Minerals Plus. It's a mud cleansing uh, gel for all skin types. I really like this one. It was like a, almost like a grayish kind of gel um, and it just cleans so well, left the skin so smooth, no tight feeling after. It smelled really, really good. Mm, it's just so such a fresh smell. I really did like that one and uh, I've been kind of looking out uh, for winners. Like so, sometimes you see something at winners and you really like it and then you won't see it for a year or you'll never see it again um, but I'm keeping my eyes open for this one I really really like that one and this is the white citrus body scrub I do like their body scrubs I don't like the ones that leave that kind of oily film but the foaming uh, body scrubs I really like uh, they exfoliate nicely and um, 
uh, leave the skin nice and smooth. Uh, this is kind of a scent though, I'm getting kind of tired of. It's a very sharp greenery note. Um, but I think this was on sale for a couple bucks at a SAS sale, so I kind of uh, got a few of them. Uh, this is Beach Breeze, Coconut Water, Crisp Lemon, and Vanilla Musk. I really did like that one. Again, I can't spell it anymore, but I remember really liking this one anyhow, and it's a pretty little label. And Vineyard Berries. That was a nice one. Oh, I can smell a little bit. Um, kind of a grape, earthy grapey scent. It wasn't a Kool-Aid kind of grapey scent. It was a nice earthy kind of uh, grape scent, which was very nice. Oh, it's another one of those um, scrubs from the bay. Pair with Mangosteen. Uh, then there's um, orange ginger, uh, just like a travel size of the Bath and Body Works. I really like the orange ginger scent. It's very zesty, very fresh. I really do like that one. Uh, another body scrub uh, from Beautiful Day. Uh, again, nice uh, body scrub. And then this is the, uh, I got this at Winners, um, retinal vitamin rich eye treatments. Uh, I think there was like 10 treatments for $5. Uh, just put it under your eyes for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Um, these ones weren't wet like some of those other ones, so I don't know how effective these really were. Um, they're a little more moist, uh, but I mean, they, they were okay, like a temporary kind of fix for under the eyes, but um, nothing great. And then um, my drawers are really getting kind of full. Uh, some of these packages take up a lot of room, so um, I've used each of these masks. I just kind of took them out of the packages because they're... Uh, Frank's kind of complaining. Um, he, there's like four drawers in the middle of our vanity and he had one drawer and I had the other three and now I've taken up his drawer. So, um, anyway, um, tough luck dear. I use a lot more stuff. And anyway, this is a retinol spa treatment mask. You just leave it on for 20 minutes. Minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, delays effects of skin aging. Um, yeah, a lot of these were just kind of did the same thing. They kind of, they did moisturize quite nicely. Um, they're very soothing. Uh, most of them you just, when you take the mask off, you just rub in the, um, whatever's left on there, you just kind of rub it in and let it absorb. So um, they all kind of did the same thing, um, but I do like them. They're just nice and relaxing and, and refreshing. And, and this one is, um, these ones I do like. You get five masks for um, $8. This one is ginseng. And these ones are made in Korea. Uh, this is intense, immediate, and continuous moisturizing feeling. Um, perfect, get, perfectly absorbs, it constantly saturates your skin from within. And it's got ginseng, shea butter, hyaluronic acid, pentothal, etc. Um, so yeah, I do like these particular ones. Um, oh, it just says developed by Natural Skin Care Laboratory. But anyway, they look like this anyhow. And um, this one's a, a vitamin C uh, one. And uh, it has a vitamin C, green tea, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, pomegranate. And... Um, revitalizes skin damage by UV rays and that. So that's another one. And then this one is the tea tree. And of course it has tea tree oil, witch hazel extract, licorice extract, hyaluronic acid, pentothal, etc. Um, so yeah, I like all these. Um, I tried some retinol cream that was very concentrated and I kind of broke out in this weird bumpy little rash. Um, so I put this on and it just soothed it right away and it kind of decreased those um, t 
tiny little bumps in that so it's it worked well for like irritated skin oh yeah those are the tea tree oil there's now these ones are very wet you can actually I can still feel the um, uh, some of the solution down here so I probably just maybe just throw this on because they're they're really saturated so you um, you could probably even use them twice if you wanted to because there's so much solution on them and this is from Bath and Body Works my favorite night balm eight hour overnight recovery is good for um, really dry lips just put it on before bedtime um, but sometimes your lip products aren't on sale too often so and then when I uh, made a a purchase from Sephora. I got some free samples. This is Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Um, I got probably about five uses out of this actually, this little sample. Um, it wasn't anything anything different. I've, I've bought things that are probably a fifth of the price and they work just as well so I wouldn't go out of my way to, to buy this or anything like that. It wasn't anything special. This is um, Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. I think it's just like a moisturizing um, uh, moisturizing tint, basically. Uh, I didn't really like the way it looked on my skin. It was a little bit patchy in that. It wasn't anything terrific. It certainly wouldn't be a repurchase. And I like my $8 Maybelline BB Cream. And it just works um, better and it's got sunscreen in it. And I don't think this one has sunscreen in it. So that wasn't too impressed with that one um, but anyway uh, that's it I'm gonna go throw this in the blue box um, make some more room back here uh, so I hope you enjoyed my empties everyone try to sk stay cool and um, it's starting to cloud over so hopefully we'll get some rain we certainly need it um, so everyone take care have a great weekend and we'll see you soon bye bye